Hi everyone, it's Dimitris again, back for another week to share a quick update on the sale and incentivized testnet progress. Thanks again for the valuable feedback on these weekly video updates. It's been great to continue to get your thoughts on how we can improve further and try to bring you more useful information as we progress. So last week's uh, node, Wallet Backend and Daedalus uh, release, mitigated some recent issues that uh, were identified by Daedalus users. And uh, there should now be further improvement for both the ADA holders as well as the stake pool operators. This week, there is no new node release as the team is working towards another significant update that will bring further network improvements. This is expected to be available next week. Target is to improve the documentation for specific aspects of the node, address some Rust compilation issues that have been raised and also update the REST API to access uh, the reward distributions, amongst others. More details on this will follow with next week's update. On the Daedalus and Wallet backend side, the recent uh, Daedalus 2.2 uh, ITN uh, 1 release, apart from the new features, has shown also improvement in terms of resolving the wallet restoration and syncing. During the last few days, the response from the community seems rather positive, and all of the issues related to wallet restoration, including the wallet that already exists, have been mitigated. We are now working towards making yet another end-to-end -end release this week, exact timelines to be confirmed during the time I'm recording this video, which is integrated with the latest node version 0813 and should further improve your experience with ITN. We will let you know as soon as this new wallet version is available, and if you're running your Daedalus Rewards wallet, you will get notified through the Daedalus Newsfeed too. For our macOS Catalina users, which are still impacted by the current installation issue, we are still working to address the unresolved issues with the Apple's notarization process, which uh, we are working to expedite, to expedite as soon as we can. We appreciate your patience on this. Our aim remains to release another Daedalus version once this issue for uh, the Mac OS Catalina users is addressed. Now to some side updates. On the support side, this week we can report a significant decrease in uh, the new incidents volume. Version uh, 2.2 .2 of Daedalus Rewards has introduced several improvements with the wallet restoration, stability, as well as uh, connecting and syncing, which helped resolve a number of outstanding tickets. However, some users still report troubles when trying to connect and synchronize, which we believe will be rectified further with the deployment of your Mungander 0A13 in the next few days. Also, we continue to work on the Mac OS related incident, uh, and we are expecting a solution soon of course, we'll let you know uh, as soon as this is done. At a glance, from a support uh, perspective, we had circa 70% reduction of uh, newly created tickets this week, uh, with a total of around 450. Uh, we had a rough increase of 200% uh, in new tickets related to the error recurring uh, where restoring a wallet, and about 130% reduction of new tickets related to wallet restoration uh, that already exists. On the DevOps side, the creation of additional IOHK stake pools is now completed, and the IOHK funds uh, redelegation across this, as well as the community ones, is done. This should prevent uh, any saturation from happening. The team has also created a new pool, uh, sorry, a new tool called uh, PerfOps that allows us to run uh, multiple Yormungander or Kandano node instances in multiple containers on the same host with many different configuration options. This enables us to execute performance testing simulation uh, with thousands of Daedalus clients simultaneously connected in order to stress test the network behavior. I hope you found this short update useful. I'll be back next week with the latest on the ITN progress. Thanks again for watching.